Welcome to Using One Hand. In this lesson I'm learning to image numbers up to 5 to solve addition and subtraction problems. Let's imagine I've got two apples in one bag and in another bag I've got another two apples. I want to work out how many apples do I have in total. Well to start with, let's use one hand to help us answer this question. So, to represent the two apples that I've got, I'm going to need to stretch out two fingers on my hand. So my hand should look like this. Now the question says I need to add two more, so that means I'm going to have to stretch out another two fingers. So now my hand should look like this. So you can see that 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now let's try another question. This time, let's imagine I've got three chocolate bars and I eat two of them. I want to work out how much chocolate will I have left? Well, to start with, put your hand behind your back and stretch out three fingers. So hopefully your hand should be looking like that. Now without looking at your hand, our question says we're going to need to fold down two more fingers because we ate two of those chocolate bars. So do that with your hand behind your back now and see if you can work out how many fingers will be left. Well, let's have a look if you are right. You can see underneath here, I've got one finger left. So, 3 minus 2 equals 1. Let's try another question. This time, let's imagine you read three books earlier in the week, and today, you read one more book. I want to work out how many books have you read in total. So put your hand behind your back and stretch out three fingers. So hopefully you've got a hand which looks like that. Now the question says we read one more book, so we're going to need to stretch out one more finger. So can you work out what the answer is? How many fingers have you got stretched out behind your back? Well, let's see if you are right. If I move this, there we go. Four fingers should be stretched out. So, three plus one equals four. Now let's try one more question. Let's imagine on Monday you ran two laps of the field. And on Tuesday, you ran three laps of the field. I want to work out how many laps of the field have you run in total. Now we're going to see if we can answer this question without using our hands at all. So to start with, just imagine what does two look like? How many fingers should you have stretched out? Now in your head, imagine stretching out three more fingers. So how many fingers have you got stretched out now? Well, hopefully, you've got five fingers stretched, stretched out. So, two plus three equals five. If you got a bit stuck with that one, I'll just show you what it looked like with fingers. So first of all, I stretched out two fingers. And then the question says I had to stretch out three more. So there were my first two, and there's one, two, three more fingers. So that's how I worked out that the answer is five. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.